much does the average American household spend on expenses each year? Hmm. Find out the answer to this question and more on this week's episode of Reality Check. Every week, I'll be joined by an internet personality and we'll talk about what life costs and hear about their financial journey along the way. This week's guest is Layla Cartfrouche. Layla is a personal finance coach who documents her journey towards debt freedom and helps individuals take control of their financial lives. So what's something unexpected or surprising that people might not know about you? I would say people who watch my finance channel and don't know about my Instagram or my other YouTube channel may not know that I'm really into weightlifting. That's like my favorite thing outside of finance. So I'm in the gym five to six days a week, primarily doing weightlifting. Wow. That is so cool and inspiring. I wish that I was better at that. I, was, <laughs> I wish I was a little bit physically stronger. Thanks. Yeah. So Layla, we have these 10 financial questions that the average American probably should know, but most don't. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. Hopefully feeling I, I'm feeling some, <laughs> I, I think I know my finance stuff, but feeling a little nervous about what I'm be asked. <laughs> All right. Well, I will not leave you in suspense anymore. Let's hop to the first question. What is the most populated city in the U.S.? Hmm. New York City? Yes. New yeah? York City. Okay. Eight. Yeah, 8.8 .8 million people. Wow. Wow, that's awful. Yeah. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. I, know. I can't imagine. But people are moving there every day. If you guys are considering moving there, make sure you go with a plan. Have a budget. Know what you can afford because big city life is super expensive. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Question two. What is considered an excellent or exceptional credit score? I don't know if I'll get the numbers exact. I would say seven, wait, excellent or exceptional? 780 to 850? I will give it to you. It's 800 to 850 would be okay. Okay. exceptional. Question three is a multiple choice. What former president's face appears on the $50 bill? Is it A, George Washington? B, John Adams, C, Ulysses S. Grant, or D, Abe Lincoln? Man, I never have cash and definitely never a $50 <laughs> bill. I don't think it's Abe Lincoln. What was, the, what was B again? B is John Adams. I think it's John Adams. It's actually Ulysses S. Grant. Okay, that's embarrassing. <laughs> don't, I do not know. <laughs> My dollar bills, I do not. <laughs> it's not, I don't often have 50, 50s either, so. <laughs> yeah, I never I have it. cash on me. <laughs> well, speaking of 50, I know that you had kind of a substantial amount of debt. You had like about 50K in student loan debt and then some other debt. What was kind of the point for you where you were like, I gotta make a shift and sort of start taking control over some of this? Yeah, so change my habits. back in, 2018 is when I really realized like, okay, I need to get a job that like a, a job that's higher paying and I'm living paycheck to paycheck. This is stressful. I was just having trouble sleeping and I kept going into further debt. So that was really my turning point. I knew I needed to, you know, start listening to financial stuff. I um, was listening to financial podcasts and videos to get motivation for it. And that was really my turning point. I just was living paycheck to paycheck and hated going further into debt. Yeah. I like that the first thing that you kind of did once you decided was to start educating yourself and getting yourself motivated because I do think that that motivation is a big part of it. Definitely. All right. Question number four. How many people live in the average U.S. household? I'm going to go with four. Not quite. 2.5 people. Smaller than I think I would have expected to. <laughs> yeah, I would think more. It's surprising. Yeah. Which state has the highest income tax rate? California. It's got to be. California. They have <laughs> Definitely. The highest every time. <laughs> Everything. As a person who lives in California, I can attest to this. <laughs> California, 13.3%. <laughs> Well, I know that you've managed to pay off a lot of debt, like kind of like we talked about. 
How do you manage paying down debt, but also paying your everyday bills, but also maybe trying to have a social life? How do you kind of juggle those different things? I am a firm believer that while you're paying off your debt, you should still enjoy life because you know, it, life is short. You never know what could happen. And I don't think your debt should hold you back from, you know, you have to be smart. You don't want to spend too much money. But I think experiences and travel, buying yourself stuff that you really, really want is OK. So I set a budget. I try my best to stick to it. And, you know, I, I document that on my channel and you can see there's sometimes I go over budget. But for the most part, I'm always I, every month I'm progressing toward my goal of becoming debt free and investing money. So for me, as long as I'm getting closer to my goals every week and every month, then I think it's perfectly normal to enjoy life a little bit outside of debt, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Definitely. I don't think that putting yourself on a budget and having a budget for yourself should be like torturous. <laughs> you shouldn't feel like you're punishing yourself every every month by having a budget. Yeah, that's a good balance. I like that. All right. Question number six is also a multiple choice question. What is the least expensive 2022 consumer vehicle model? Is it A, the Chevy Spark, B, the Ford Focus, C, a Hyundai Sonata, or D, a Kia Soul? The least expensive? Yes. I think the Ford Focus. Close. It's actually the Chevy Spark. Okay. It's only about fifteen thousand seven hundred dollars oh, for a twenty twenty two model. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. No. Question seven: How much is the average student loan borrower's debt? I know this one. I know it's in the thirty k's. I can't remember if it's exactly thirty k or 30, thirty 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 two. You know what? I'm going to give that to you. Uh, it's actually 28950 <laughs> Obviously, everyone's goals and journeys are a little bit different. But for you personally, knowing how much debt that you had from college, do you feel like it was worth it? Do you feel like the expense was worth it? I do overall. So I definitely took out more than I needed to for my student loans. Um, but at the time, that was what was right for me. I would not say I regret it or anything because one, it allowed me to get a career in my field of study. So I worked in the career for four years for that. And then two, it got me to this point. So because of my debt, I've learned so much more about finances and no, it's not a good thing to accumulate so much debt. But because of that, I started learning about finances and investing the financial independence movement. And um, that's how I got here. So I think it was worth it overall. Yeah, that's great. And I think everyone values experiences and things like that differently. It was I feel I had a lot of debt after college, too. But for me, I felt like it was worth it as well. Everyone's everyone's journey is a little different, but all right. Next question. Question number eight. What is the average annual cost of an undergraduate college education? Average cost. Hmm, I would say. Hmm, that's a hard one. I would say like 50,000. It's not quite that high. It's okay. <laughs> um, it's thirty five thousand five hundred and fifty one per student per year, which includes books, supplies, and of course daily living expenses. All right, question nine. We're almost there. What is the most expensive state to live in? Mm, it's going to be either New York or California. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to go with New York on this one. It's actually Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, I didn't even Hawaii. think Hawaii. Of course. Okay. Yeah, because it's yeah. like floating out there in the ocean. Yes, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. All right, Layla. The reality check. Final question. How much does the average American household spend on expenses each year? Hmm. These are tough questions. <laughs> How much is the average? You're doing really well, though. The average household, like as a whole? Yes. On expenses. Does this include like your mortgage or mm -hmm. rent? Everything. OK. Um, 
60,000. Wow, yeah, you're almost spot on. 61,334. <laughs> yeah, I was just was... thinking of myself and adding a little bit more to that. So, okay. Yeah, Yay. that is <laughs> spot on. <laughs> I think for a lot of people, this is their reality and they wish that they could scale it back a little. What do you think is kind of the first step for someone who wants to take a little bit more control, say, over their spending or some of their expenses? I think the first step would be being aware of your spending. So track your expenses from the last month or the last three months, last six months, and then you can see where your money's actually going because it's hard to control your rent or your mortgage. Like you can't just move in the, the middle of the year for many people. But if you're spending X amount of dollars online shopping or going out to eat, you can fix that immediately. And I think that's more powerful. Definitely control what you can control. It's a great place to start. Well, that's it. Layla, you got five out of 10. That's not bad, okay. <laughs> that, that is super duper impressive. Thank you so much for playing Reality Check with us. If people wanna learn more about you and sort of your journey towards financial freedom, how can they find you? Yep, if you just look on YouTube, you can go to youtube.com slash debt over it or personal finance with Layla. I also have a blog, debtoverit.com. Awesome. And if you guys missed that, don't worry. We're going to drop it down in the description below. Thanks so much again, Layla. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Reality Check. How'd you do? Be sure to check out the other episodes in the series to see how you stack up against our guests. And make sure you come back next week for another episode.